Hello, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to embed your calendar onto your web page using iframes. Now typically um, you'll include a link on your main web page and like I'm doing right here what I did is I included a link and if I click on this link it'll take us to the uh, uh, web page but it'll have cleared the entire screen. I may not want that. What I may want to do is have the calendar appear in a subframe or a, an area on the screen that doesn't take over the entire screen. So uh, something like this. Let's take a look. I put one on the uh, video tutorial. So as you can see here, let's, let me browse up. Uh, we're on the name, main website, but we have a, a little calendar here. And of course, it doesn't fit. Uh, you might have to adjust the size of your calendar, but uh, I'm able to use the next and the scrolling keys. And this little calendar was a part of the main website, so you won't lose your external uh, user interface that you have. You know your your menus and everything. You'll have the calendar uh, appear on the website. Now, how did I do this? Very very simply, what I did. <clears throat> let me bring up the HTML code. Is uh, let me draw your attention here. Okay, this is the actual URL of the WebCal file on my website. It's products, WebCal samples, WebCal, the, the calendar itself. So what I did is I included this thing called iframe, and SRC is the source. That's that's the uh, HTML file. It's in quotes. The width and the height. I just typed that in, and then a closing iframe, and I put this in a uh, paragraph centered on the screen. So that's all you need to do. That's all you'd have to do in your website. In your situation, instead of, uh, it'll be something probably like this. Instead of products, web cal samples, it'll probably be something, say you have your uh, calendar on a subfolder called calendar. It'll probably be calendar slash web cal. And then of course you can change these widths, um, <clears throat> 600, 400, whatever uh, width is appropriate for your particular calendar and your web page. And uh, pretty much all browsers can support the iframe so when a user comes up they'll see the uh, calendar that'll appear right smack in the middle of the page. And that's all you have to do. I hope you continue to enjoy WebCal.